Oh, baby! Big fall, babes! Big fall! Tiny completely camouflaged. You cannot see tiny camouflage snake in the grass. What is up the world? I was hiding from you guys. It's your friendly neighborhood sub gator here. Hanging out today, doing stuff and things, playing some Ark Survival Evolved. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a really good day. We got a new Dodicarus. These Dodicarus are Redodicarus. Her name is Cute Girl 2, because why not? And I'm um, thinking that she might die today. We're going to test something out here real quick. But yeah, so I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a lot of fun. I can't wait to get playing some Ark today. I got up this morning, and last night when we were looking for the Dodicarus, um, I, and I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, and it doesn't matter because it's funny. So last night we were looking for Dodicarus. We were having a read Dodicarus time trying to find one. And actually, we saw a 116 Spino while we were out. So we're going to try to take a look for it today and see if it's still around. And I'm going to make some Spino kibble as well. Oh, I wanted to take a second to thank you guys so much for all your support. Continue supporting the ARC videos. It means so much to me, and I really, really appreciate it. If you guys like this video, don't forget to smash the like button for me. And don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time watching. So here's what I want to test out. So we got cute girl two over here, right? 1500 hit points. I want to see what their fall damage is like in ball form. That's all right, ladies and gentle peeps. We are going to jump off this cliff in cute girl two. It's going to be the most unbelievable thing that ever happened today. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to jump the Dodicarus off the cliff. Are you ready? Three, go. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, I hope I can turn around. Oh, baby. All right. So I faked you out. All right. So we got a little bit of a fake out in there. Here we go. We're going to do it for real this time. You ready, guys? Three. Go. Oh, baby. Oh, look at that. Yes. My theory is correct. Okay. So the theory was that it doesn't take anywhere near the type of damage it normally would while it's in its ball form. And it definitely didn't. I mean, it took like no damage at all. It only took a couple hundred. You know, I really, really wish that we could get these guys to fall off a cliff or something like that. Like, I wish we could pick it up on an Argus, because I want to take it up to the top of, like, the volcano or something and just jump off, man. That would be so cool. So for now, we're going to leave these guys over at Brian's house for um, bodyguards. They were going to be Brian's bodyguards, these two guys. Oh, he just pooped. Oh, cute girl. That's not cute. So let's go ahead and just back her up. Get her backed up right over here. She's going to hang out right here. I talked with Brian earlier, guys. He's actually really busy right now. He's been playing Xbox for the entire day. Oh, I think he's sleeping. Don't wake him up, guys. All right. And we talked to him. I, I'll tell you guys, we're going to have an episode here pretty quick with Brian. I got something. He's been doing. He, we've been talking about some stuff and things. But yeah, anyway. All right. So we got to make some Spino kibble if we are going to do the Spino stuff and things. I went out and got a bunch of meat, by the way. A huge amount. We were running a little bit low. So for the Spino kibble, we need... Prime meat jerky. We need citronol. We need argentivus eggs, of which we have five. And then we need medjo berries and water and all that stuff and things. So let's take a look here. We need five cooked prime jerky, five argentivus eggs. Um, we need a bunch of this. We need a bunch of citronol. And we need water, which I think is in here. And I think... Oh, and fiber, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fiber. So... This is my first time. I've actually never made kibble before. We got a bunch of fiber just recently as well. All right, so let's come over here to the cooking pot and see what we got going on. Uh, I'm going to drop some thatch in here. So then that way it doesn't accidentally make any sort of dye or anything like that. We can use spark powder as well, but I think I'm running low on that. Yeah, we're out. All right, so let's go ahead and pop inside of here. Let's drop fibre. Take out that. Bam. 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 Nail the days to camping stop light fire. Oh, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. All right. So here we go. <laughs> so we got our water inside of here. We got our stuff in the exact. I don't know how long it takes to cook all this. I think we got it right. Um, so we're just going to sit here and wait to get our five spino kibble. And then I'll be our bees, peeps. And we're back, guys. Let's put the fire out. We had plenty of fuel. Like, way too much fuel, to be honest with you. Let's take the citronelle out. And this out. Let's get the spinal kibble. It's got a timer of, what is that, two days? So we're good to go there. 
Let's go ahead and squirt our Mejos and our Citronol back inside of here. And um, we're going to go ahead and grab some more narcotics as well. we got a few things we want to bone up on here. We want to get a little bit more of. Let's go ahead and squirt these inside of here. The um, Spino's narco rates are like really, really weird right now. And they're, they drop super, super fast. So we're going to take 400 narco with us. And then we're also going to grab a few more narc arrows. I think I've got some in here already made. Oh, crap. Oh, I don't. Oh, I do. 27. There we go. All right, sweet. So we got plenty of narco arrows. We got plenty of durability on our crossbow. We got all the stuff and things we need, peeps. I'm going to go ahead and get on Foulmouth, and we're going to head out and meet up with Z. BRBs. And we're back. What's up, Z? Not much, buddy. I'm finding you a uh, a questionable colored dodicarus. A pink one. Z said it's pink. It's kind of, it's pretty pink. It's a it's little. It's pink. It's a, pink, man. It's kind of like, yeah, it's it's not like, it's, I think pink oh, is like pink. I mean, it's not a hot pink, but I don't think I they have it, those. You know, I wish it was hot pink. It's, but you said it was kind of like flesh colored. I don't know, like maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe the color of an orifice or something like the inside <laughs> of your lip or something. Oh, oh, oh your lip face. <laughs> so we looked all around for a spinal. Actually, Z was helping me and we couldn't find one. And the, the high one we saw the other day was gone. So I figured, why not play around with this pink guy, man? We need to get a pink guy. Yeah, Hopefully. he is a guy, too. And I need that for mate boosting, too. Oh, get out of here, Speedykins. Nailed it. So yeah, I want to get a mate boosted now. I'm pretty sure I was reading they're mammals, so they don't lay eggs anyway. He's down. Oh, is he down or is he, is he, no. Oh, he balled. He balled up. He balled up. Man, I shot him right got, in his head still. We got all kind of stuff happening around here. Speedykins can take care of this. What do you got? What do you got? We got yeah, bad guys in the argent. area? A little oh, argent. Oh. I got him. Speedy's a... Speedy's a meanie, boy. Your Speedykins got a really high melee damage, dude. Like, crazy yeah, high. Like, 400-something, man. Yeah, pretty awesome. He's a baller. Pterodon, for sure. Do you still shooting this guy, even though he's in this I'm shooting form? him in his head. In his ball okay. form, at least at the very least, we'll do some testing right here, right, to see if it it can go to sleep or whatever. Yeah, while like in it's ball still in a ball form. form. Yeah, why not? We'll test it out. If it reduces the damage, I wonder if it reduces the topor damage. It's I bet a you scientific it Scientific question. I bet you it does too. But I wonder if it's still vulnerable in its head face area. I don't know if it has anything to do with the location. I'm gonna not bet. Too sure. I'm gonna bet you that in this in this form and ball form, you can't be like you can't damage him. Does it matter? Like, will he just come out of ball form regardless if you shoot him or not? No, no, he won't. He'll come out eventually on his own. So whether you shoot him or not, it doesn't matter. He's no, no, just no. gonna come out no matter what. I think if I continue to shoot him, he will not come out of ball form. Ah, he will stay in ball form until you just leave him alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Huh. How many arrows did you use on the one yesterday? Do you recall? That little 16, probably five or six mm -hmm. arrows. Oh, well, that's not bad at all. You know, I think it has to do with his damage. I think it's because he's so damaged that he's gone into his little ball form. Uh, that might be it, too. You know what? We might not be able to get this guy. Might just have to wait. You want to just wait and see if he comes out of ball form? Yeah, let's wait until it comes out of ball form. Ball form. All right, <laughs> BRB, please. <laughs> And we're back, and our Spino episode has turned into Dodicarus testing. <laughs> We've been finding out lots of information, though, man. Yeah, like the fact that they gather stone when they're just, like, roaming or just sitting around. Yeah, if there's stone in the area, we got to test that later on, I think, once we get it tamed up a right. little bit. But they, they will wander and gather stone autonomously, or they're supposed to gather it if they're just standing still. Right. Um, like, passively. I don't know. It seems kind of weird. I wonder if that's the the stone on the ground or like the rocks. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to say. Yeah, I don't know. Um, they use uh, Dilo kibble, and then actually their preferred food, if you don't have kibble, is citronol or savru, which is really weird. I think they're the first well, dino to like that stuff over berries. Well, over berries, yeah. The citronol is portion of the 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 kibble, so yep. that explains that. But the savru, I don't know. Yeah. Um, as far as that, I was I went. 
Flip, you were having trouble taming him. Like, you're having trouble knocking him out. I think oh, he yeah, used, yeah. what, like 100 arrows on him? I used about about 70 or 80, and um, they do have different topor. Like, their topor is really high, and also for the uh, Dodicarus, the topor drops faster it, uh, oh, that's cool. than a regular dino as well. Kind of weird. And they're almost impossible to kill. Um, yeah, th so there's a level 8 over here. You, Z's gonna, you're gonna try to knock it out with your scorpion. I'm gonna try to scorpion knock him out. Yeah, I'm gonna see how that works. Yeah, so this uh, guy, guys, I had this little level 8 guy in a ball, and I hit him a hundred times with my, um, journeyman pike, and it did not kill it, and it was level 8. I mean, pretty unbelievable. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. That's gonna be him? no. I sure didn't. He's oh. around here somewhere, though. It's gonna be interesting to see how that happens. I found him. There he is. There in he is. um, in what you call in uh, survival of the survival fittest. Survival of the fittest. Yeah. Oh man, he's kicking your butt. You're gonna have to hit him like a lot. I think. Oh, he's beating you away. I do a lot. No, I'm backing up. It's about ten seconds on a scorpion. Remember this. The topor drops faster. Right. So you're waiting just a few seconds. I see. What yeah. You're doing. Oh, he balled. He went in the I ball. I wonder if form. we still attack him again. Just hammer him, man. Hammer him. Actually, I can't. It doesn't hit him. Oh, really? Yeah. Weird. All right, check this out, guys. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Like, it's unbelievable. The amount of damage they can take, it, it's just a astronomical. It, I, I... And no, like an armadillo. Like, it's got to be like a 99% decrease in damage taken. Yeah, I don't know. It's a lot. Look at that. That's crazy, man. You yep. want to go? Let him, let him wake up so I can try to sting him some more. All right, all right. I'll let him wake up. Sorry. Um, I got... Dino getting killed music. Let me see here. How's our tank uh -oh. going? I know everything's cool over here. All right. I think that was just maybe carrying over in the fight. Yeah. So give him some more topor. He's at 98.2 plus 33 levels. So he's going to tame out at, what, 68, 33, 98, maybe 100-ish. That'll be cool. It'll yeah, be yeah. A, a high level one. He's not bad. Not bad. Tip his color. So it's going to take a couple minutes for Z, for this guy to unball, to come out of ball form. Yeah, you can't even hit I him? can't hit him like this. No, That's it weird. Won't. Can you try try getting like right in front right here, right in the front of his ball? No. There's not. That's weird, man. That's no cool. No activity. That's good information, though, yo. Oh, about four scorpion stings. Four actual stings, or five actual stings, took this guy down. After he came out of ball form, or she came out of ball form, I uh, hit it again, it went back in the ball form, and then it just finally collapsed. So, probably about four or five hits all together, and it looks like its health's pretty low. Only somebody hit him with a spear for a few times <laughs> <laughs> impacted that, but it's it's fun to see like how many times you actually hit it and still how much health it had. Out of a total of 850? Which is pretty ridiculous, man. Um, I'm I'm gonna love to be able to see once we get one tame, we can actually try. We'd have to pull out a tribe, I think, to hit him. Oh no, you can still hit him without them being in tribe, huh? Yeah, yeah, you can still damage him. Yeah, but I don't think I'd like to see I about the damage. If friendly fire will make them ball up, I don't know. If they're already balled up against something, maybe that's how we'd have to test it. Yeah, I don't know. We could draw but, aggro on something like a saber tooth or whatever, let it ball up and then test it. Right. But um but we've got one we've got one piece of kibble on it just to see, because I had eight of it all together for a high level. Um but I'd still like to see how much kibble is gonna give it. So any second now. I think it's seventy that it takes, so that should be a couple more food points. Yeah, this will be cool to see what the kibble does for sure. Cause you never Come know, on, like, one kibble tame. <laughs> that'd be that'd be the best, man. That would be amazing. All right, here it comes. Here it comes moment of truth. Any minute now. Any minute now. <laughs> what number? <laughs> oh, holy oh. crap, dude! Wow, a half. About half a single kibble. That's well, pretty crazy. It is because it's low level too. Higher level one's gonna take more. Right, right. Naturally. But still, I think two. Three, you'd be done. No problem. 
Yep. Let's try one on your high level and see how much it brings it up by. All right. Sounds like a plan, man. As the Wu Tang Clan is like egg makers. Nice. Just poop on the floor there, fine. <laughs> Sorry. I'm excited a little bit. Bang. Well, about 20%, man. About 20%? So not bad. So maybe for the 60, you'd say maybe 5 or 6? Yeah. Kibble? Yeah, probably somewhere on there. Yeah. So it worked pretty good. <laughs> it was back! <laughs> this is so fun, man. I know. They're awesome, watch, man. Watch, watch. Wee! Hold on, where'd you go? What? What'd you do? <laughs> I'll show you, I'll show you. Alright, show me, man. <laughs> oh, they just Wee! walked... <laughs> <laughs> so, alright, I gotta test... So, I got this guy, I named him Fabulous. He's my Fabulous or Dicarous. <laughs> fabulous. Fabulous! <laughs> alright, 4,700 health, 700 stamina, 374 melee damage, movement speed 225. Check it out. <laughs> oh, he's out. How much stamina did I use? Oh, wait. I got my backspace off. Oh, man. Uh, he used, like, no stamina. Really? Uh, how far can I roll? Oh, my God, dude. You can roll forever. That's oh, awesome. He got ejected. So oh, I didn't take any fall damage when I did that. Yeah, man, I tested that earlier in the video. You j you take, like, no fall damage on these guys. It's crazy. What? So, oh, hold on Oh, man, a now I've got to go cliff diving. So, let's take a look at this. They just passively gain stone. I know, I want to go cliff diving, too. Oh, They'll break go. rocks, man. So we watch, enable wandering. Well, they were saying without wandering. That's what I'm wondering about. Oh, I don't yes. know about that. Dude, they do. You don't even have to have them on wander. You can just have them <laughs> sitting next to rocks, like... And they'll just get it? Yeah, look at Fabulous, man. He's got. He just had eight rocks on him. He's still got eight. I don't know. It just takes a second. They just get rocks. What? It's crap. You it's see, slow. mine's mine's pounding the uh, the stone on the ground here. It's way slower. Oh, Banded. your guys just getting it. And look, 182. Oh baby! <laughs> oh, I got him on follow. Hold on a second here. Uh, He's yeah, still you at turn eight. Him off of follow. He was just getting rocks, like oh man, from being stationary. We're going to have a stone form. We're going to have a stone form. Dude, that's going to like totally screw up. I mean, that's going to be so awesome. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's going to say it's going to screw up server economies. I know some servers are using stone for money. So he was getting stone just passively, but now it seems that he stopped. That's a little weird. Dude, I just walk him around. Does he just like pick it up? This is a lot. Okay, so what should I, I guess wait, man? Naval wandering yeah. on a little guy like that. Yeah, put weight on. Yeah, man, I'm gonna have to get a few more of these, bruh. Dude, I got three already. I'm psyched. I'm gonna put them to work <laughs> in my base, man. <laughs> nice, dude. Oh, here Very he goes. Freaking nice. Yep, yeah, break it up. Fabulous. Fabulous. All right, let me see what he's got. <laughs> oh, that was my rock I was looking at. I'm sorry, I was being. Ah. Uh. Uh. So I mean, new malicious. Yeah, hold on. Let's disable wandering. Disable wandering. Stop. Stop wandering. So he's got 246 rock on him. Like I said, now the wiki says that they'll just passively gather rocks at a standstill if rocks are in the area. So hmm. let's put him over like right here. I wonder if they mean rocks in the ground, but... I don't know. That's what I'm wondering, too. Well, something just happened, like I got some shared XP somehow. 246. He's still at 246. I guess we'll let him... S oh, wait. What? Right. I keep getting rocks in my inventory. What? Are you pressing E? No. Yeah? I don't think so. Yeah, because one guy's not collecting rocks at all. He's following me. But... Maybe I am accidentally eating something. Yeah, I think you're eating, because there's stones all over the ground here. I'm interested in I'm getting in that. shared, though. When you jump off that thing, I'm getting shared. Oh, I just added four stone. Let me look at my inventory now. But I have eight on me. So yeah, when you get off, something happens, dude. I'm getting shared XP right now. <laughs> <laughs> when That's you got so off, weird. I got, I'm getting shared XP right now. I keep getting stone. 
too. Like I keep getting stone. What? I have 20 What's stone in my going inventory. On, Is it grabbing it off the ground? <laughs> well, it might be that I e. So it's like actually maybe just an in-game glitch. Is it still happening? Uh, yeah, I'm still getting shared XP. <laughs> Almost Stone every farm. second time you do it, dude. What? Think do it that on might yours. Be do it on one yours. of those exploit things. Let me look on my. I got. It's not a lot. You you'd be better off just having your Dodicarus on Rwander. Yeah, I'm getting it too. Weird. Well, I got it once there. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, again. and it's saying added four stone. Yeah, that's weird, man. These wow. guys are cool, man. Right, it's you crazy mechanics, man. Yeah, when you enable wonder and they're not following, they'll bash rocks. But their weight is super low, like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you need a few of them to have a quarry. You could set up like a little area, like wall it off. Mm hmm. And let them just run free. God, it would be so farm. great if you could make them smart so they could make it a would big be rock nice. pile. It's if you had about four of these in an area and just like every time you needed stone, you could go check it and it would have like 2,000, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Now, I wonder about these big rocks. He's not, doesn't seem to like the big rocks. I don't know. And then after a while, what's going to happen is he's just going to stop moving. Like he's gonna be so overburdened, right? So let's see here. Do, will you? Will he do a big rock? Come here, come here, man. Get close to this big rock. Will you wander this big rock? It looks like maybe he won't attack the large rocks, but he does the rock piles. These little rock piles. Well, he was attacking large. Mine was attacking large rocks. He earlier. was. He was. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Yeah. Because I can't get my guy. Like, come over here. Hit this thing. Is this not a hittable rock? Is that why? No, it Good is. Bob. Uh, yeah, mine's mine's bashing rocks right away. Yours is smarter. Fabulous is just too dumb. Maybe he's just I, like, I, I I'm not getting this he's outfit. He's super. Dirty. I'm not going to break my nails. <laughs> All right, my so spikes. <laughs> I got about six hundred and something stamina on this guy. Very nice. Let me man. find a little flat spot here. Is there a flat spot? Flat spot. I'm gonna go for a roll. See how far I go. Go for a roll. Dude, this guy rolls. <laughs> He's a rolling fool! He's 256 stone, like, instantly. This is bananas. I love it. Yeah, pretty awesome stuff, man. Cool new dino for sure. And we're back! And we got Fabulous up on the top of this cliff here. I got Foulmouth following us. And I think that this is the perfect ramp to try my theory of the lower fall damage. So this guy's got a lot more hit points, 4,700. And it's not that big of a drop, really. But I figured we'd try it out. Let's do it, peeps. You gonna use the ramp? Oh, man. Look at that fall damage. I can't even believe it. Is Foulmouth following us? He's with us. We keep it going, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Sabertooth's coming at us. Get him, Foulmouth! Get him! Alright, hold on. Let's wait for Foulmouth to take out these saber tooth. You want some of this? Hold on. Fabulous is bringing it. You want some of Fabulous? Foulmouth, save us, man! Nailed it. Oh, so... I mean... This guy rolls like a champ. I mean, there's just no denying it. He's just a rolling machine. How did the, he... It looks like he won't take out trees or anything like that when he's rolling. But, I mean, you could if you were up on, like, the side of a mountain or something like that. You could just roll off, man, and roll, roll back to your base. It'd be totally baller. Look, we're just going to roll over here. We still got a long walk. We're pretty far away from the from our home base, but, now, I mean, we can just roll there. We're just rolling full. <laughs> and we're back at base. Oh, baby. Big fall, babes. Big fall. Look at that, like no damage taken. Crazy, man. So I walked Fabulous all the way back to the base. Look at that damage that he took. Oh okay, yeah, he took about 500. But still, like, that's a really big fall. If you took that on a mammoth, it would take it, it would be bad. I believe me, I've jumped down on this quite a few times. He would take a lot more damage than that. So that's really, really cool. And this guy for gathering rocks is just gonna be unbelievable. All right, Foulmouth, just calm down, just settle. 
He's going to be unbelievable. I got him up to 103. I have to wait a couple times. It's only at 350. It's really, really low. But still, like, to be able to passively gain stone, I mean, unbelievable. And the whole deal with them going into defensive mode, that means that, I mean, a high level one probably, like, fabulous here, I can most likely just let it roam. And I don't think it'll ever die. I just think you'd be able to let them roam and they'll gather up all the stuff and things for you. Like, I mean, I just need to give them more weight. That's really what you need. Um, so let's go ahead and throw some of this stuff away. I want to show you something else that I found while I was coming around. Now, Z and I actually have this running joke where I never find anything good in any of the drops. Um, the best thing so far I've found in the drop was this uh, Prentice Long Rifle, which is just slightly better than the one I've got. So this is a 130. I think the other one's like 128% damage. But I did find this, and I don't know. Let me see here. What kind of saddles do we, we you? What what kind of saddle do you have, homie? Let me see here. So primitive T-Rex saddle on you, and then on no kidding, is it another primitive T-Rex saddle? So yeah, I found this guy right here. So journey or apprentice T-Rex saddle, 1600 hide, 800 fiber, and 215 metal ingots. Super awesome Rex saddle. I'm not sure if it's better than the one we have back at the uh, at the forge, but it's pretty baller. So we'll probably be putting some better saddles on those guys. You know what? I don't think I've got enough metal to do that. Let me see. Let me just check and see. I'm going to have to go get more. Oh, wait. Um, three, four hundred. We need two. We need four thirty in order to do it. Do we have 30 more metal somewhere? There's a hundred right there. We can make it, man. All right, let's go ahead and make a couple of these saddles real quick. This needs to be... Is it just on our person? 1,600 high. That's so crazy. Let me see here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Bam. And then it said we need how much fiber? 800 fibre, which we've got, I think, 2, 4, 6. Oh, crap. We might not have enough fiber. Oh, there we do. And then we need 215 metal. So we'll pop over into huh? And grab 150, 300. Nail the day stick can't be stopped. Crafting it up. Oh, does it need to go into... It doesn't say... Oh, yes, it does. It says can be crafted in the smithy. crap -o. So let's drop 150 of those guys. Come over here. Get into there. And we'll drop all this inside of here. Like a so. I just want to make one, and then we'll just take a look really quickly at what the difference between the two are. Grab all this stuff. That's a lot of stuff and things. Wait, what? Oh, I need to grab the rest of the metal. Forgot. All right. So, foul mouth. Why are you always in the way, homie? I just, when we were coming back... Why? 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 No, why? When we were coming back, he was constantly getting in Fabulous's way and uh, kind of blocking our way. It was a little bit of a pain in the butt. So, wait, wait, there we go. Grab that stuff right here, like a zoo. And then we'll make the one. Bam. Bam. Craft item. How much XP were to get for this? 682 is where we're at right now. I bet it's like 70. I wonder. Whoa, whoa, 940. So, like, 160 XP? That's a lot. We should just make wreck saddles all the time. They didn't cost so much. So, uh, we're going to put this on no kibble. Let's go ahead and grab this one off of her. Can I not take it out of there? What? I've got a couple of fails going on today. It's okay. We got a new fabulous dodicarus. We're good to go there. Here we go. So if we take a look at these two next side, uh, next to each other side by side, 40 armor, 88 durability, which is funny on saddles because they never take damage. And this is 26. So it's pretty good. That's a, a really significant increase in the armor level. How much that affects stuff and things? I'm not sure. We'll go ahead and squirt that on you. And, uh, all right, I'll make another saddle for 131, and then we'll be our bees, peeps. And we're back, and I made Fabulous even more fabulous with a fabulous pink saddle on him. So fabulous right now, level 103. He's doing great, and uh, he's going to be super fun. You know, I was thinking about maybe trying to fence off. I'm just going to poop a little bit. Trying to fence off some areas up there. And put Harriet and uh, Harriet Butter and Chuck Butter up for gathering fiber, and then a place for Fabulous and maybe uh, Cutest Girl One and Cutest Girl Two to go up there and gather rocks for us and just kind of like pen them off. It might be a thing. We'll have to check it out. But for today, guys, I'm just checking the time. We're going a little bit long. I had a great time hanging out with you guys. I hope that you did too. I'm just going to sidestep a little bit. Yeah. So if you guys liked the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. 
Feel free to share your favorite in a juicy food. May the stuff and things be with you. Come on, fabulous. Let's get fabulous. 